There are some things I've been listing that have been just selling it. I listed it sells, I listed it sells, I listed it sells. As author Anthony Brandt has said, other things may change us, but we start and end with family. I've been picking the Commonwealth for 20 years, searching high and low at yard sales, thrift stores, antique malls, garages, and sometimes even barns for treasures I can pass on to new homes through eBay. But now as I watch my little ones growing up before my eyes, I find that my real treasures are right here with me every day. So join us as we pick, flip, and resell on our two eBay stores and in our three antique booths. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin and we are in the Commonwealth cabin as we usually are. Now I feel really alone and Sophie wouldn't come down here with me today. She's up there taking a nap and these two cats seem like all they do is hunt and nap. And the two homeschool hustlers after Rain got out of gymnastics and Blue Ridge Mama are off swimming at the pool. And this time I didn't even get an invite. Usually they invite me to the pool and sometimes I go and sometimes they say no. But this time she knew I wasn't going to go because there are 37 things here. And right before I clicked this camera on, I heard two, two more cha-chings. And so we have a bunch. Now, there are some things I've been listing that have been just selling it. I listed it sells. I listed it sells. I listed it sells. And we've uh, gone through quite a few of those things last few days. And they are a little bit difficult to package. But they're selling quick and I just can't resist buying them because they're pretty darn good money. Easy to find, even though they're not terribly easy to ship. They're pretty easy to clean too, so I like making that money. I'm going to let you see that. If you've been watching the show a while, I bet you'll probably guess what it is. At any rate, we've sold a bunch of stuff, so I can't yap forever. Let's take a look. All right, I'm going to go through some of these things fairly quickly here. Here is a Halo 2 with the metal metal case right here. This one sold for $10 plus shipping, and of course it came from our $100 buy, which I probably should have kept track of, but so much of it we're selling in the antique booth, so... I'm pretty happy with this one. It it took a little bit of time for this one to sell, which means it's priced about right. $10 plus shipping. All right, pair of shoes, which I don't like to buy, but uh, occasionally we do. I don't know where these came from. Novados. I've never sold a pair. Just look like hiking boots, hiking shoes to me. And I don't know where they came from, so that means Blue Ridge Mama bought them somewhere. And they sold, they sold on clearance, it looks like. No, not on clearance. I don't have any sales going on right now. They sold for $15.21 plus shipping for these. So my guess is Goodwill, three bucks. All right, this pair of Fox Racing, uh, youth racing pants came from the garage sale, bundles, buy it all, get a great price. That's our most popular video over on Commonwealth picker we made a big purchase on that and people have asked me they've even commented in that video they told me it wasn't a great deal and i shouldn't have bought it because i bought it from an ebay reseller and i'm like yeah pretty much i should and we did a i think it's 100 and i don't know 150 bucks or something like that for a huge lot of stuff and people have said you know you haven't sold much of that and there's a reason for it it was at the bottom of the death pile along with that under armor <laughs> and I haven't listed very much of it. I think I've listed three items. Two of the three have now sold, and this one sold for $35 free shipping. And we'll probably put this one in a padded flat rate. I've got a couple back here in the drawers that I want to pull out that we sold. One from, both of them from garage sales, one you haven't seen yet, and one from the exact chain sale, I think, and I'll have to show you how much we've made on that one. We have, I think... The pipe filters are in the Lot of Josh drawer. There's five of these, and this came from that exact change sale, and we have made bundles of money on that one. And we sold for $10 plus shipping. And we are up to $514, so we're making about $8 profit on that, a little bit more actually. And uh, $514 so far from $50 invested. The other item is also in the Lot of Josh drawer, and this was something I bought very recently. And I don't think you've seen the video yet, and I don't know that I've named it. Whenever I find old locks that have keys, I pick them up. Matter of fact, when I find old locks that don't have keys, or old keys that don't have locks, I pick them up. <laughs> Usually the ones without keys, or the locks without... The locks without keys, or the keys without locks, go to... My antique booth and we just put them in there and they usually sell for some reason i don't know what people are using them for but whenever i have one that has a key and it's working i put it on ebay and it sells fairly quickly usually for around eight to ten dollars this one went for 850 plus shipping and it sold really quick 
All right, now these are the items that I have been listing and they've been selling almost immediately and for pretty darn good money. So I'm pretty happy about that. All right, here they are. And no surprise, if you've been watching the show a while, I sell this stuff all the time. And it is a little bit of trouble, but for the money, you know, this thing, I bundled all these at a garage sale that you probably saw not too long ago, maybe last week, uh, Wednesday, I think. And I didn't pay much for it. And almost all of it has sold now. This is the only piece that hasn't sold out of that lot. This one sold for $36 plus shipping. It's the five quart Visions Corningware. And this one back here, the skillet sold for $22.50 plus shipping. I'm gonna leave them right here until I can uh, get the shipping ready and we'll uh, pull them out one at a time. I'm a little clumsy from time to time, so I like to do that. All right, I have one more item really quick I wanna show you, and that is a gift from a viewer. And this, actually, it's a viewer and a creator. This is from Troy at Mount Man Treasures. We talk about him all the time. We have done some fundraising for a few charities with him and for him. And he sent us this as a thank you. He was selling these for a military charity, and his daughter had done the artwork on the back. The late worm, <laughs> the late worm stays alive. It's a really big mug. And he sent us this because we sent him a hat, a signed hat, they auctioned off for the charity, and I believe Red Cardinal Treasure got that hat. So thank you so much to you as well. He helped us do quite a fundraiser for St. Jude's as well. We sold off one of these in a man scrubs that I have framed over there. So, Troy, thank you so much. We appreciate it. All right, we have a homeschool hustler store sale, but we're going to go into the eBay cave and check out what's sold in there first. Hey, we had a big lot of stuff go out. Three things to a viewer named Matthew. So he got an in a man, of course. He also got Sparky right here, this little bobblehead, and he left a note about that. And he got one of these things. He got an LU bucket hat, Liberty University. It goes inside out. Anyway, three things together. And he left a note. He says, I've been eyeing Sparky on the shelf for a while. Almost hate to order him because he's been a staple on the shelf in the eBay cave for so long. He will now represent Liberty on my desk at work. Go Flames. Must be a Liberty grad. I also just got back from a two week vacation and now my sales are bipolar. In the last nine days, four days over $100, five days under $40. Maybe the end man will get my store unconstipated and get the inventory moving again. Thanks for all you do for the reseller community. So Matthew, thank you. We hope you enjoy it. And you'll be happy to know that last week at a garage sale, I picked one of these up for a buck. So we'll have one to replace this Sparky right here. I used to sell tons of these i used to find them all the time and sell them all the time now they're harder to find and harder to sell for a few reasons but i think mostly because people around here that watch me when they find them they pick them up and they sell them this item and i'll show you a picture of it real quick right here came from a garage sale i think it was entitled a private garage sale pick for our ebay store and our antique booths and the lady in there was just awesome. We had a good time. And this is a Wizard of Oz plate. Didn't really want to buy it, but I bought it because she was awesome. And it finally sold $8.50 plus shipping. Here's a long tail item. It's probably been in the store for maybe not quite a year, but it's long tails. So whenever I find the Wranglers, I usually buy the Wrangler Pearl Snaps at garage sales for pretty decent prices because they can get 18, 17 bucks. This sold for $17.88. And so if you pay a buck for it, you're making like $11 on it. You hear Sophie back here? I'm going to give her one more peanut, and then I'm going to get her out of here because she's driving me nuts. You want a peanut? I'm going to give her a peanut. Think you could stay? Maybe I'll finish this one first. <laughs> All right, so Pearl Snap, I pick them up. They are long tail. So at the Goodwill, if you pay where, where we're at, $3.99, you're going to make like an $8 profit. If you pick them up at a garage sale for 50 cents or a buck, you'll make $11 profit on them. But they are long tail. So I like, there you go, extra long tails. When I find the ones that are long tails on them, I usually pick them up because they sell for a little bit more than the other ones. Or something unique, something with cool colors in it or cool snaps in it. They used to sell a little bit better, but we'll still pick them up if they're cheap. I think Sophie's been a little jealous of the chickens and the cats getting all the uh, air time lately, huh? You been jealous? Actually, I don't think she cares. She just cares about peanuts and naps and snuggling with Blue Ridge Mama. 
All right, three comments for three NMA and buyers. And we've been selling a lot of these, so I appreciate it when you guys keep the comments a little shorter. So that's awesome. So anyway, Vanessa, this one's actually we had a few go out that didn't leave a comment at all. So I want to give a thank you to Richard, Sharon, and this one is to Vanessa. And she says, my name is Vanessa, and I'm buying this for my dad, Martin. He's a big fan of your channel. He's been wanting this plush for a while, so I decided to buy it for him. Can you please autograph it for him? Thank you for all the tips you share with us on your channel. We love watching you. So, Vanessa, thank you so much. And, Martin, this one is headed your way, and we hope you enjoy it. And I will do my best to remember to autograph for you. I remember, and I don't remember what viewer it was, but at Valentine's Day, somebody bought it for a Valentine's gift, and I'm like... That's nuts. And I remember a viewer saying that you should market this as a Valentine's gift. And I'm like, nobody's going to buy it for Valentine's Day. And we sold a bunch on Valentine's Day. So if you're that viewer who told me that, I can't remember who you were, but leave a comment below. All right, this one is going out to, I think, Jason. Let's see. He says, Kevin, me and my wife love watching your channel, and we watch every single one that you put out. We're buying this for our dog, Finn, a.k.a. Baby Doll. Thank you for the entertainment you give us, Jason and Noel. Mm. Do you hear what your fate is? You're going to be a dog toy. I feel for you. <laughs> he says he'll do the job. All right, this one's going out to Anthony. Hey, Kevin, I'm a new reseller about three months in, and I've learned so much from your videos. I'm following your lead and teaching my three-year-old boy as much as I can already about my new job. Three-year-old must be a fast learner. I look forward to teaching him more as he grows. Thanks for everything. Wishing you and your family the best. Anthony. Anthony, thank you so much. And we wish you the very best with your three-year-old. Three I'm sure he will grow up to be uh, quite the reseller. All right, got a homeschool hustler store sale out there. And Turner's not here. So I hope to wait until they get back to do that one. But you might get a little unlucky and it might be me out there giving you that sale. But I doubt it. I think we'll wait for either Turner or Reagan or both of them. To come back and tell you, there's two kind of cool Homeschool Hustler store sales out there, so I can't wait to show it to you. But I am going to say goodbye from in here, and thank you all for all your kindness, for all the purchases. We do appreciate it. We hope your reselling is going well, and we hope you're all staying happy and healthy, and those sales numbers are going up. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. All right, we have Homeschool Hustler Spider Dude with us yeah. today. And this is Spider-Man Far From Home, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, we picked this up at a flea market sale for a dollar. What is it, Turner? Do you know what this um, is? That's mango. Mango, mango, I think. I don't even know what that is. And that is Jim. Jim. $20 free shipping. It'll ship out for $2.80, I think. I don't know if that's going media mail or not. I didn't even think about it. But either way, it's going first class. And that is Mango. I don't even know what this is. I think it's from a Disney show. Somebody will tell me in the comments. And that was a 50 cent buy at Goodwill on the one time I went to Goodwill this year so far. And it sold for $8 plus shipping. So that's a nice little sale for the homeschool hustlers. And if this was in a little better shape, I would have asked $30 for it. It's just a little beat up. The insides, here we go, are all still there. Can I open it up, bud? Okay, whoop, that's not a good page to look at, but <laughs> there you white. go. Yep. And so that is definitely vintage. That's 1986. 1986. So I don't know. I saw it for a buck. I'm like, that thing is going to sell. And it definitely did. So I like that sale. And winter, sorry out there. I know you wanted it. <laughs> so sometimes they go quick as soon as they get in the store. You know, they're on a video sometimes, and people go from the video right there to look, see if it's there. <laughs> sometimes it is, and sometimes it isn't. But anyway, you want to thank them, Spider Dude? Uh, thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.